Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. I am currently just prepping for my next job interview. So I applied to the two jobs, the one that I cannot disclose to you or I don't want to disclose to you just because it's a sensitive job and I want to not jeopardize that. Um, and the second job is for an airline to be a flight attendant and I have that interview in two days or two and a half days, Monday morning, it's Friday night right now. So um, to prepare for that job interview, I have to memorize a quick little spiel that a flight attendant would say on the airplane. Um, they specifically emailed th the applicants and asked us to memorize that for the face-to-face. -face. So that's what I'm doing. I haven't started trying to memorize it prior to right now. I just sat down like 20 minutes ago and I was like, let me try to get this memorized. So I'm ready Monday morning. Also, the interview says it's five hours long. Um, I don't know if like <laughs> that's going to be if that's accurate or if they're just overshooting or or what. But I think it sounds like the first half is going to be them uh, having us in a group interview and then they'll choose us to be in a solo interview after that if they like us or you know like you so they're gonna like weed some people out I think um, and I think that's why it's gonna take so long <sighs> so yeah I'm going to practice though my little line memorization with you guys right here um, I just started trying to memorize it like I said like 20 minutes ago so here we go all right game face on. Hello everyone, before we leave the gate, all passengers must be seated with their seatbelts fastened. All tray tables and carry-ons must be stowed. All electronics must be in airplane mode. <laughs> I probably won't do this at the interview, but um, I just got excited that I, I said it without stuttering because I've been saying it out loud and I have been often stuttering. Okay, I'm going to try one more time. <sighs> Hello every- See, I already messed up. Hello everyone. Before we leave the gate, all passengers must be seated with their seatbelts fastened. All tray tables must be stowed. Okay, I messed up. Whoop. <sighs> Hello everyone. Before we leave the gate, all passengers must be seated with their seatbelts fastened. All tray tables and carry-ons must be stowed. All electronics must be in airplane mode. And then I feel like saying thank you afterwards, but that's not in the script, so I'm not gonna say it, but I just feel like being like, thank you. Imagine like, you know, you're standing in the galley with your little talking into your phone so that everyone can hear you on the speakers and you're like, hello everyone, before we leave the gate. <laughs> and then I just wanna say thank you after before I hang up, but I don't know. Okay, so I feel like I got that. I can't feel like I just need to work on it a little more so I don't stutter because you know, when you're nervous, you stutter, or I do at least. And yeah, um, I have that interview Monday morning. It's like, I'm going to the interview because I don't want to regret not going in case I don't get the job that I really, really want. Um, but I just, I don't know, I just want the other job so badly. So yeah, that's what's going on. It's pretty late at night. And then tomorrow, I'm not sure what we're doing. My husband is working so late tonight. So it's just, Hank and I for right now. Um, I'm getting ready to put him to bed here in a couple minutes though. Mm -mm. <laughs> Don't mind the mess in the background, but I got <laughs> I got this dress at the thrift store two days ago for a dollar. Yeah. Okay, buddy. For a dollar, it's very cute. I love it. At Walmart, I just found these for a dollar. They were originally eight ninety seven, but they're ringing up for a dollar in the app. Very cute. Three piece for a dollar. Pretty much everything is scanning for a dollar. Everything that's like below five bucks is scanning for a dollar. So that's fun. They have those hair clips in white. This is cute too. All of these scanning for a dollar. This is a dollar. I'm definitely gonna get this. It's a really good deal. Three big ones for a dollar. These are five dollars. 
Very cute. Five bucks. This is really cute. Seven bucks. I don't need it, so I'm not gonna get it, but yeah, lots of deals on bags right now. Tons of bags for like five, five dollars, seven dollars. Oh yeah, here's another one of these. Very cute, seven dollars, I love it. Okay guys, I got a Walmart haul for you. Spent like $90, $89 um, at Walmart today. Show you guys what I got. I don't go to Walmart every week. I go maybe once a month, sometimes not even uh, for groceries. I'm talking about for groceries, for other random stuff. I go probably a few times a month, but I try not to buy groceries there. I don't really like, <laughs> I don't really like getting groceries from there. I feel very stressed out getting groceries from there. Um, and yeah, I usually just, um, I go to Sam's Club if I can, and then sometimes Publix. But I got lots of groceries today from there. Today I got some tomato puree. This is only tomato pulp, one ingredient, tomato pulp. Most of the stuff that's in cans that are tomato have calcium chloride in them. It's very disappointing. They didn't used to have calcium chloride in them um, a few years ago. Like you used to be able to find ones without calcium chloride and now you cannot. Uh, I also grabbed some Thai kitchen coconut cream to make some chicken curry. This is um, non-GMO. Non There's only two ingredients. It's coconut and then guar gum. So I love that. There was another option for coconut cream there and it had all kinds of stuff. Some like phosphorus, some other, I don't know, random ingredients where I'm like, mm. I got Mount Olive jalapenos. I actually really don't like buying these. They have yellow five in them um, and then a bunch of other stuff too that are not good. Um, but I didn't have time to pickle jalapenos, so out of convenience, I have this. Don't love it. They don't, there was also like not a very good pickled jalapeno alternative at any of the markets that I go to, not even Publix. Um, they all have like weird preservatives and then food coloring in them. So I really just need to pickle my own. I love this Orville Redenbacher. So surprising to me that this Orville Redenbacher is non-GMO, but it is. I like making my own popcorn at home because I can control what's in it. And I put coconut oil and kernels in a pot with a lid, put it on the stove, and then I take it off the stove and then I put some salt on it, Himalayan salt, and uh, yeah, it's three ingredients and I control what's in it. I love that. My freaking tripod here in the kitchen is slowly just moving down. I got a butternut squash. I love butternut squash. I'm gonna put this in some curry later on this week. And right now squash is obviously in season. So this was only like 98 cents a pound. I think I paid like $2 for this. Got some dairy, pro I got hair in my mouth. I have some dairy products, ricotta cheese, sour cream, and then I have cottage cheese. I'm gonna be making some lasagna with the ricotta. Cottage cheese, I like to have as a dessert uh with some like strawberry jam i love that it's such a good dessert and then sour cream because i am making chili this week i got some beef bouillon and then um some white rice i grabbed two artichokes this is always fun to get when they are not too expensive they're only like 250 right now because i think they're getting into season and they all look really nice on the shelf some iceberg lettuce. We're making some burgers today, so we need some lettuce for our burgers. See, the tripod keeps falling down. Cilantro burger patties. Just plain burger patties. I got some lasagna. I got the whole grain one. Just a slightly, <laughs> a slightly better option than the regular stuff, even though I really love the regular stuff. Annie's mac and cheese. I pretty much always grab one box of these every time I go to Walmart because they don't have it at Sam's Club. And this is obviously not the best thing to feed my child, but uh, sometimes this is what it is. Some Milton's <laughs> original multigrain. I remember when I was a kid, my dad used to buy Milton's uh, crackers and bread at Costco and I hated it. I thought it was the most disgusting thing ever. I thought it was so terrible and I was like, why would you feed me stuff with like literal seeds in them? And um, now 
I love it. Just and seeds. don't say literal seeds. <laughs> Hank, no. Hank thinks everything's a bad word nowadays. Um, now I love it, and it's like one of the better options as far as crackers go, pre-made crackers. So here we go, Milton's. Yes. Tomato paste. I buy the Cento one. This one does not have um, absorbic acid in it, so I buy this one. It's a little bit more money, but it's better. Got a bag of kidney beans. I was like a little bit irritated looking for kidney beans because I was wanting to buy canned kidney beans, but the canned kidney beans all had calcium chloride in it and then other stuff. And I just, I mean, I already buy things like Teddy grams for my child, so I don't need to also buy something that's supposed to be as simple as kidney beans with a bunch of crap in it. So I guess I'm making my kidney beans from scratch for my chili. <laughs> I got these pretzel hamburger buns because they were on clearance for $2.99 um, and we needed hamburger buns for our hamburger night. I also grabbed some blueberry streusel muffins on clearance. Um, I was planning to have these tomorrow with my family because tomorrow I have like an early day. I have a job interview kind of early in the morning that I need to leave for. So um, this will make tomorrow morning easier. I got an 18 pack of eggs and a block of mild cheddar cheese. And then I have some non-food items that I picked up. You guys saw me talking about all these clips that were a dollar. This is a really good deal. This is so cute. This color pink. I think it looks really good on my skin tone. So I'm definitely going to be keeping these for myself. But it comes with like a beret, a little clip for half up, half down, and then a bigger claw clip. And I just love that color. It's going to look really good on me. And then I have... The same thing, basically, but in a tan color, and I thought this would look nice on my mother-in-law. She tends to love neutrals, and um, I was thinking I'd throw this in with her Christmas gift. So that was a dollar. And then I got some claw clips. This was, These were both a dollar, too, and I think this is like such a good deal. A dollar for three pretty large claw clips. I really love these claw clips that have these like silicone texture on them, because it like, prevents my hair from slipping down um, and out of the clip. So I really love these. And then I picked these up. These were $1.50 and these were originally $9. I've seen these a lot like during the summer, they were selling these like crazy, but they're a lot of money, $9 for water balloons. But they're those ones that you just plug your hose directly into it and they have like a straw that fills the water balloons up for you and you don't have to tie them either because you just like shake it or something and then you just have a it says 100 balloons in 60 seconds that sounds like a good time brothers i'm making sweet potato fries i'm going to toss these in olive oil with some garlic powder and then salt and pepper and then i'll put them in the deep i'm um, not the deep fryer i don't have a deep fryer what the heck um the air fryer for hmm, 20 minutes, probably at like 370, probably like, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes at like 360 and then the last 10 at 370 or 380 just to brown them. But yeah, and then I'm gonna make some burgers. Bun, lettuce, tomato, burger patty, cheddar cheese, caramelized onions, and jalapeno. Then we have ketchup and mustard. And that is going to be lunch. This is Hank's. <laughs> this is meat and cheese, burger patty, fries. This is ours here. Okay, so I, since lunchtime, I took a nap, I folded laundry, did some computer work, and, and now I'm making dinner. I'm making chicken curry for dinner. Um, coconut chicken curry. <laughs> so I just put the chicken in and then I gotta finish putting the seasoning. I just buy this organic curry powder. You can get this at Walmart. It's organic and it's cheap. It's probably like $5. 
and yeah i'm gonna load it up with a ton of vegetables i just started the rice and the rice cooker and it smells good already <laughs> just because i opened the bottle of curry it's gonna make my whole house smell so i better close my bedroom doors if you don't want your room to smell like curry you could close it <laughs> does anyone else close the doors around the house when you're cooking something smelly we do that all right so here we go got lots of veggies in there bell peppers onions garlic broccoli carrots chicken so much i put the coconut cream in there it's all creamy and delicious i'm gonna serve this over rice yum also also if you don't eat meat you can definitely make the exact same thing but without the chicken and just put chickpeas in i do that sometimes and it's very very good Okay guys, it is Monday morning. I have my um, interview with Virgin Airlines today. So this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> I don't know if I'm giving funeral vibes or professional vibes, but I feel comfortable in this. So yeah, I have a little cardigan. It has like this lace detail, a black shirt, black slacks, my flats. I have my pearl earrings on. So this is supposedly five hours long. I think it's only five hours long though if they like you <laughs> and you get chosen to the next step because I think they're gonna like eliminate people out as time goes on today so hopefully hopefully they just keep me around we'll see I have my little folder with my resume and references and then I have my passport marriage license all that good stuff because um, this is a job where you need your passport. Um, yeah, so long day today. And then later on today, we are going to a car dealership to maybe buy a truck. We don't know. We don't know what's going on. Happy Honda days. Okay, I just pulled up. The interview's at this like super swanky hotel downtown. Um, I'm just gonna say a prayer to ease my, my nerves and then I'm gonna go in. I'm like 25 minutes early, but uh, I think that if I get to the, they said if you get to the one-on-one -on -one interviews at the end, um, they're gonna go in order of who came first. So I wanna be one of the first ones so I can go home obviously. So I'm just gonna say a prayer and um, then I'm gonna go in. Okay, and then I want to practice one more time my little script. Hello everyone, before we leave the gate, all passengers must be seated with seatbelts fastened, all tray tables and carry-ons must be stowed, and all electronics must be in airplane mode. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, you guys, oh my lord, it's four hours later. I was there for four hours. Whew. It was a lot. So first we went into a room and they gave us a presentation about the company, about you know the pay, the benefits. Uh, flight attendant pay is very like interesting. It's not like where you clock in and you get paid per hour and it's straightforward. Flight attendant pay is not straightforward. There's like a lot of different elements to it. So they explained that and then they broke us off into groups where we had to, um, stand up and give our little say our little script out loud then they asked us some questions that we had to answer and then we had to play this game it was an assignment where they broke us into smaller groups and we had to um memorize these shapes and colors and uh replicate it onto another piece of paper basically but you could only look at it one time and then you know it was a it was a memorization and teamwork task for sure and then they brought us all back together from all of our individual groups and there was like 50 of us there like literally like 50 of us and then they we all were assigned a number so here's my number we were assigned a number and after they had everybody they 
called out all these numbers, right? And I'm number nine. And they started from the beginning. So they were like, okay, number one. So that every number they called, they asked them to go back to the original room where we were given a presentation. They're like, okay, number one, number three, number four, number seven, number 10. They passed my number, number nine. And I was like, oh my gosh. They don't like me. <laughs> I'm not getting. I'm not getting this job. Like they're gonna tell me to go home. They're, everybody else is going to the back to the room, and I'm not going back to the room. So they call like all these people, um, and then there was only a few of us left right there that they didn't call, and we're all looking at each other like, what the heck? And then they said, then we started to sit down and they were like, don't sit down. You're not going to have time to sit down. Right. Very stern. You know, they were playing it up. And then after all those other people went in the room and the doors shut, they told us the few people that were left in the room and the few people that were left that they didn't call, they were like, congratulations. <laughs> You made it to the next round. So there was only a few of us. Oh my gosh We started with like 50 and we went down to like 15 like that So that was that felt nice first. I thought like I was like, oh my gosh I'm not getting the job and then they're like congratulations You went to the next round and then we had to wait and then they interviewed every single person there two times So by two different people and I did that um, I think they liked me I am pretty sure they did um, the <laughs> the first person who interviewed me was a really nice lady she is based out of Vegas she was super nice I'm pretty sure she loved me but then the second guy uh, who interviewed me <laughs> he knew me from my other job he like he didn't know me personally but he so I work at another I work at a restaurant and he's a health inspector so he's a flight attendant and a health inspector and he literally was like oh my gosh you work here at this restaurant I'm like yeah he's like oh I inspect that restaurant and he was telling me about all my managers and my coworkers. he knew them by name and uh yeah he was like telling me if I get this job as a flight attendant I should also keep the other job because um he knows that this restaurant that I work at has a very flexible schedule and he's right so yeah that was interesting um I'm in the car now it took four hours I'm so hungry it's two o'clock I have not eaten since like 7 30 I have to go eat something right now um and yeah I gotta go see my husband and we're gonna go to the car dealership so let's go all right so it's later in the evening it's like bedtime it's nine o'clock <laughs> I go to bed early usually and I don't think I told you guys that for the job they're not gonna tell me if I have a job offer for 48 hours that's what they said they said it, it'll be 48 hours they'll let me know if I have a job offer or not um, and yeah to be honest I this job seems very exciting but at the same time, I just really want the other job that I was uh, doing exams for last week and it'll just be a better fit for my family. I just really want that other job. It'll be um, like an achievement if I get this job offer for the airline to be a flight attendant because there's so many people who, you know, want this job. It'll be an achievement to, uh, to get that offer, but I just really, really, really want the other job. Um, that I was talking about in the previous vlog and then also we went to some car dealerships today and we did not make any deals with anyone at the car dealerships um, the first one it was at a Honda dealership and when they showed us the car it was so bad i can't even believe that they had it up for sale on their website because when we got the car there was literally like trash all over the car like like thick piles of like sand inside of the car it was really really off-putting and then we went to another dealership where the car um we're looking at a honda bridge line we we need we want a truck um a used truck and um the second dealership we went to the car was in really great shape it was so nice and uh yeah they weren't offering us 
any money off the car, you know, or they were literally just like, you know, sticker price was what, what it was. And then they added an additional like $1,600 to it for, you know, fees and taxes and stuff like that. And they were like, can you do better than that? And they're like, mm, no, <laughs> like literally like not even offering us like a hundred dollars off or something. Not that I would have bought it if it was a hundred dollars off, I wouldn't have, but uh, they were just being very weird and stern about it. And then I was like, let's go back to a different dealership, to the Honda dealership. I was just saying that. Um, and they're like, oh, if you go to the Honda dealership, you're gonna have all kinds of fees and uh, you're not gonna get, cause I, I asked them if they would do the sticker price out the door. Um, and they're like, you're, you're never going to get a sticker price out the door from the Honda dealership. When we, I actually bought my last car at the Honda dealership for the sticker price out the door. <laughs> like that's, I actually did that. Um, so they're just blowing smoke up my butt, but <laughs> yeah, that's what's going on. So I'm just sitting here, I'm doing some computer work on the computer and, um, just wanted to update you guys on everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to give you a life hack. You know these hangers you get from the store when you buy jeans or whatever? Uh, I, I save them. I use them for when you have like chips, a chip bag or something you need to close up. Um, I used to always buy them. Like I have a few that I bought, but they always break every, like they break really fast. So these, they're like really like heavy duty compared to the ones that I was buying and they're free because <laughs> they come on your hanger. I put the towel over it so that I don't hurt myself when I break it and then I just snap it off and that's it. Okay, bye. I just picked up our pottery from the pottery studio and they came out so good. In the last vlog I showed that I went with my friend and we painted some nutcrackers. So I just picked them up after they've been fired. This is Amy's, my friend Amy. Very cute, very classic. Very classic, very traditional. It's very Amy, very clean and classic. She did such a good job. <laughs> and then, Mine is just chaotic. <laughs> I chose pink because I like pink. So I have a pink little coat. I added the little details on the arms and lots of buttons and then the cheeks. He looks like he messes with drugs or something. His eyes are looking crazy. <laughs> He's looking a little crazy. But um, yeah, very, very Camilla for sure. Very, very Camilla. So. Yay, I'm gonna put them on display. I'm gonna put them on my desk, my pink desk, my pink nutcracker, cute. I'm home and I have chili in the Dutch oven. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> um, yeah. I forgot to tell you guys that this morning I got the email. I got a job offer from the airline to be a flight attendant and they have invited me to train with them for four and a half weeks and yeah i got that email so that's cool i have that option that option i have that opportunity um but i still really want the other job but this is a good backup plan i guess if i don't get the other job and i think it's gonna take a i don't know if i've told you guys this but it's gonna take a while to know if i get this other job because i have to pa pass like a lot of things through background and all of that before they can offer me the job it's gonna rain all day, but it's like the nice kind of rain where it's like relaxing and soothing. Oftentimes here in Florida, the, the rain is like super, it makes me uneasy because it's so loud and aggressive. Um, but today is like a nice, like just drizzle and I'm loving it. Um, I went to Marshall's, so I'm gonna show you guys what I grabbed at Marshall's. They had so much on clearance, like way more than normal. First thing is, 
this two pack of tweezers. This is Japonesque. I don't know if you guys have ever used any of their products before. I have an eyelash curler from Japonesque uh, and I've had it for like 15 years. Like That's since actually really good. I'm filming. I'm oh, sorry. My headphones are really good. <laughs> <laughs> And then this is so random, but this is like a little jar, like a vase. It looks like an urn. <laughs> it is 150 cotton pads in here for $3. So like, I don't really care about this. I guess this is just like a little bit of a bonus. Um, 150 cotton pads for $3 is a good deal. And then plus you get this jar thing. Um, yeah. So I'm going to open it up because I don't even know what it looks like inside here. Oh yeah, that is such a good deal. Oh, these are like the good kind. Look. Oh yeah, these are like really nice kind. And it's pink. Guess where I'm gonna put this, you guys? On my pink desk. <laughs> Love it. I feel like as I'm getting older, I feel like when I was younger, I used to hi I used to like fight the pink because my mom decorated my room in all pink. And I, it just like, I kind of always wanted to just do the opposite of what my mom wanted me to do. <laughs> and um, I didn't want my room pink. And then when I got older, I was like, I'm not having anything pink when I like moved out and got my first apartment and stuff. And actually my favorite color is actually really yellow, but I think that I'm get, now that I'm getting older, I'm starting to gravitate towards very, very feminine colors. I still am not a fan of purple. I don't really like purple that much, but I love pink now. Pink and yellow and orange, love, love it. So cute. And then a bottle of acetone. Oh, my alarm went off because um, Alanis Morissette tickets are going on sale in three minutes. So I have to hurry up. Um, I got O'Keefe's Working Hands. This is like Working Hands, Healthy Feet, and then a chapstick, all for six bucks. That is such a good deal. Um, it was on clearance. And then I got a bag of the Anastasia Cocoa Bars with milk chocolate. I love anything coconut. I love the smell of coconut. I love the taste of coconut. Coconut, coconut, coconut. I love coconut. Um, so this is just like a, a bag of these coconut bars. And this was $4.50. And usually these are gonna be like 10, 10 bucks, nine, 10 bucks. So I gotta get my computer because I gotta get these Alanis Morissette tickets. Be quiet. Okay, you be quiet too. I got them. I got two tickets to Alanis Morissette. And then you need to blow my nose first. Oh, he needs to blow his nose. Um, they're not for me, they're for my mom. For her to see Alanis in California. Um, my whole childhood, she listened to Alanis Morissette. And that's the reason why I listen to Alanis Morissette. So um, she's gonna be surprised. Whoa, what? Wow. It needs more uh, space it's, back yeah, there. It needs it. A more uh, runway. <laughs> well, I guess it's not, if this isn't really the river, this is more the harbor, but the fog has been really crazy. Hey guys, I am waiting in line to get gas at Sam's Club and then I'm going to do a big, big grocery shop, get ready for Thanksgiving. Um, at this point, I should just get a job at Sam's Club. <laughs> I'm always at Sam's Club. I'm like the Sam's Club queen. So I have some updates for you. We bought a truck. We bought a 2006 Toyota Tundra. Um, it's very old, but it's very solid. We did a lot of research on which trucks we should buy. Basically, we had a few options. Um, we were looking at Toyota Tundras, we were looking at uh, Chevy Avalanches and Honda Ridgelines, and then we were also looking at Tacomas, Toyota Tacomas, but those are also hard to come by. I think we got really lucky with this Tundra. We were able to get it like $1,300 below asking price. Yeah, so we got that and then today we went to the DMV and we, you know, paid for taxes and play, the plate and registration and the title transfer and all of that, which was so expensive. They do it differently here in Florida. Here in Florida, the plate stays with the owner of the plate, not with the vehicle. So we had to like buy a new plate. Uh, it was a lot of money. Oh my gosh. Just to do all that stuff at the DMV was like over $800. I was like, oh my Lord. Oh my lord <laughs> um but it's fine we would have paid way more at a dealer with dealer fees and all that stuff so yeah i'm feeling really good about the truck even though you know it's always like 
nerve-wracking to make a big purchase like that you know when it's like several thousands of dollars it's always a little bit nerve-wracking but I'm feeling pretty good about it and yeah so that's our update yay woohoo we finally got a truck and we can be done looking at trucks it was nauseating to just keep looking at trucks for days and days and days and like researching and then like calling places and then it was just really nauseating i don't like it it reminded me of when we like would be house shopping house shopping is way worse way worse because that takes like potentially months um this only took like over a week or whatever when we decided to pull the trigger and actually go get a truck um i'm surprised we made it this long though with the one car the one i'm in right now and uh yeah it was we were due we were due for a second car for sure we went two and a half years with just one car pretty crazy but right now see the beauty of having two cars the beauty of having two cars is that uh, my husband is with my son at the playground at the park and i'm running errands um before we had to choose what we were gonna do we could only do one thing because we only had one car but now we could do both at the same time it's beautiful what secret yeah we fucked up he's been sick this whole time and we have brain it's saturday morning and we spent the morning garage sailing our area had um a big giant community garage sale where they use the sports arena to set up garage sales like you could buy a spot and then people will come and there was a lot of people and a lot of vendors um it was a big event it was very fun uh so we picked up quite a few things from there today i'm going to show you guys this is such a good deal we paid two dollars for this entire bag of cabinet knobs or drawer pulls whatever you want to call them they're so beautiful they're gonna go really well with our house because we have like lots of gold finished stuff in our house our light fixtures our curtain rods all that stuff i like warm tones so they look like this they're so so pretty two dollars for the whole bag i can't even believe that you can't even buy one of these for two dollars at the hardware store or at anthro or hobby lobby whatever and then the next thing i got i paid three dollars for this <laughs> this little box here it has i mostly wanted these earrings but three dollars for the whole set i wasn't gonna argue um these little wooden santa earrings love i haven't tried them on yet let's do it right now it's <gasps> so cute it came with a matching brooch and then i think this is like some kind of weird <laughs> necklace or something that it also came with and it has like these wood beads. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Maybe I'll hang this up somewhere in the house during Christmas time. I don't envision myself wearing the necklace at all. Um, but very cute. They're wood and they just feel really good. For $3, that's good. My husband also got like a giant stack of vinyl. But uh, he has that. And he paid like $2 a piece for those. I picked this up as well. This was a dollar. It's metal very cute you guys know that i love hawaii we got two of these mini coffee mugs they were a quarter each and we were looking for small ones to put under our espresso machine um, we only have one right now that fits under there and my husband will usually have two a day so that wasn't working very well for us so hopefully these will fit under i think they will and they are just like a speckled pottery and I grabbed this wreath here. I'm gonna make something with it. I don't know what yet, but this was a quarter as well. For $4, I picked up a drum pad and drumsticks for my son. I'm gonna give this to him for Christmas. So four bucks. This is like real wood, you know, the real stuff, good stuff. Okay, so the next thing is <laughs> this sound bowl and we paid $2 for this. I actually have had this on my Amazon wish list for a long time and they're like $20 usually, but I'm really glad I found this there. I don't know how to use it yet. I have to learn how, but I think you like that type of thing. I have to get better at it, but I have to learn. I'm going to look up videos to learn how to do it, but yeah, this is like real and it was $2 ruse. Can you believe that? My husband grabbed this. This was a quarter. Um, this is just like 
a music book. It's Sam Ash. I think this is a really old one, but yeah, it looks pretty dang old. It, you know, it's just blank. So you can write notes in it, music notes or whatever. And then I have this giant bag of blank pottery. And I was looking at the basket full of them because they said they were a quarter each and I was just digging through trying to figure out which ones I wanted and stuff like that. And then the lady came over and she was like, how much would you buy for all of them? I mean, how much would you pay for all of them? And I was like, I don't know. And then my husband was holding this same lady. I was like, can I just give you $3 for the whole thing? She was like, yeah. So I got all these blank pottery and I don't know if I'm going to ask my pottery studio to see if I could, um, pay them to fire these for me after I paint them or if I'm just gonna not fire them and just paint them but there's all kinds of different stuff this is like Christmas wreaths I don't really know what this is it seems like a pedestal or no actually it has a hanger on the back so this is like some kind of there's just all kinds of random things like this is a garden pick you know all kinds of random things it's a lot of stuff too <laughs> lots of Christmas ornament type things like, what the heck is this? I have no idea what this is. I don't know. Oh, this looks like it's like the bottom of a bird. Is there a top of a bird in here? Lots and lots of those. It's a lot of stuff. Um, and I paid like basically two seventy five dollars for all of these. Is it going? Okay, yeah. I'm driving the truck for the first time. Don't hit that car. I'm not gonna hit the car. Come on, give me more credit. It feels really big and it's it's like feels super high up. But yeah. I'm in the Yoda. <laughs> okay, bye. It's uh later in the day and I'm getting ready to cut my hair. I just cut it last month, but it just it's so much. I like having long hair. I feel like it suits me, but it's very heavy on my head and I actually get headaches um, if my hair is up, pulled back in a ponytail and a bun and a clip, it doesn't matter. I get headaches because it pulls and it's heavy. So I'm gonna cut my hair again, um, even though I just cut it like not even a month ago. And yeah, I've made a video on how I do it. Like I went into detail um, before. Okay, I need to wash my hair because I just cut it, but it's done. And I feel like I lost <laughs> like three pounds. Let me show you guys how much hair is in my sink right now. You guys are gonna be like, what the heck? Even though it looks like there's still a lot of hair on my head and obviously I need to style it. Tomorrow I'll style it. Or maybe tonight I'll blow dry it. I don't know. Hey, look how much, it's so much hair. But like you could see, I cut off a lot of length, a lot. And it feels just so good. It's so much hair. Jeez. Okay, gross. So I'm all ready for bed <laughs> in my pajamas, but I researched how to do this uh, on YouTube and I figured it out. So there's two ways. One way is you can bang it and then you can do it like I was trying to do earlier. Um, but I found another way that I like better because um, it doesn't have that big bang at the beginning involved. It's like a way where you just build it up. So you just do this and then it'll build up. I love it. <laughs> I want like a million more of these. Um, I love it. It's so cute and it just, it's so relaxing. I was doing it earlier for like minutes at a time and it was just like so relaxing. You kind of like get in a trance and you just don't think about anything else but making that circle with the thing and. Hey guys, just got back from Home Depot. 
it's Sunday. We went to church this morning and then we uh, <clears throat> went to church this morning and then we went to our local little Italian bakery. I look crazy. I don't know what to do with my hair. It looks so short in a ponytail now. Um, we went to an Italian bakery, had a little after church snackaroo as a family. And then I just went to Home Depot, picked up some things. We got a pressure washer. I picked up some things that we needed. So you guys know that we just got these, right? We only had a few of them in the bag that came with a bolt for it though. So I picked up some more. And then I also got washers to put behind the bolt to make it better. And then we have three drawers in my kitchen that won't use these because it's two holes obviously for a handle so we picked up these to go with it let me just take it out go really well together see same same uh metal tone so it'll just be more cohesive because the handles we have on the drawers right now are white and nickel <laughs> so that's not good and then we got some more picture hangers because I'm out of these, so I need like hooks and nails and all that kind of thing. And then we got these little felt pads because we realized, we found out that, we found, we found out that these old handles were making a whole, like a little bit dent mark on the cabinet right here because the screw was hitting it. Um, and these stick out even more after they're put into the cabinet. So we don't want to keep making a dent in there. So we just got these little felt things. We'll put them on here and then uh, it should solve that problem. All done looking cute looking cute looking cute looking cute and then over here we have the new brass ones these were the old ones they were so ugly I hated these so much but yeah I'm looking good now good morning everyone uh, I just got done doing a physical exam for that job I've been trying to get that I feel like is gonna take forever I feel like it's gonna be like 2024 before I even know what's gonna happen. Um, <laughs> the doctor at my physical exam, she said that her husband has the same kind of job that I'm trying to get. And uh, it took several months. And during the background check phase of this whole thing, they, they the investigators knocked on their neighbor's doors to ask about what kind of person they are, if they like them, blah, blah, blah. So, <laughs> I feel like I'm giving a lot of context clues here. You guys can probably figure out um, what kind of cat, like the category of the type of job I'm trying to get here. Hey guys, it's uh, me popping in. I'm literally editing this vlog right now, and I know it's such a long one. I think it's the longest one I've ever done. Let me know if you guys liked it this long or if it was too long. Um, let me know down in the comments. Maybe if you got to the end, uh, comment something about the color purple or a purple emoji any kind of purple emoji or something that's purple i don't like that color <laughs> i don't like purple but say something about purple um and let me know if you like these long vlogs um also i know that i have told you guys that i would do a kitchen tour and i will but probably not till after thanksgiving so let me know what you think about this kind of vlog i'll see you guys in the next video bye